Is anyone here from the Philippine village? Twelve people died from that village. A police officer committed suicide from the village. There was smallpox and pneumonia. B1 deficiency called beriberi. Did you get sick? Graveyard. Yes, I bet they have a graveyard over there somewhere. They probably never told anybody about. In 1904, St. Louis, Missouri hosted the Olympic Games. The track and field took place here at Washington University's Francis Field. It's a beautiful campus. Swimming events and water polo and diving all took place east of here at the 1904 World's Fair in Forest Park. So we're gonna check that out today too. But I wanted to start here because I wanted to get a look at Francis Field and talk about the story of the marathon. It had 32 runners, most of them inexperienced, some of them in street clothes, street shoes, and even some barefoot. The start of the race was right here and it was a 25 mile run over dirt roads, hills. It is considered to be the most grueling Marriott. and toughest marathon in Olympic history. While racing, one of the men inhaled so much dust because the runners had to endure cars driving on um, the dirt roads that he collapsed and had to be taken to the hospital. Apparently the dust had ripped his stomach lining. Another was chased a mile off course by wild dogs. Play. The winner made it across the finish line with the help of his trainers because he had taken a concoction of rat poisoning, egg whites, and brandy. During the time period, 1904, they believed that dehydration made someone a better athlete. So there was only one water sign. Most of the men collapsed from dehydration and some nearly died making that Olympics a disaster. Is there anything here from the Olympics? Were you at Francis Field that day of the marathon? You can talk into this camera or if you come near me, you can make these lights go off on this machine to show you're here or you can use the dictionary in that piece of equipment. Did you run in the marathon? Did you go to the fair, the World's Fair? Were you in the crowd? This is the Northwestern Inn of Forest Park, which sits across from Washington University. And the entrance to the fair was on the north side of the park. And what was constructed here was a mile long pike, which consisted of concession stands, entertainment, bands, parades, shopping. And there were actually two deaths on the pike. One was at the Alps where they had created mountains and a train ride and it was the place where you could get your beer and the other death was an entertainer who slid down a pole with his hair 
and the wire broke and he fell to his death. This is the entrance where fairgoers came in. And what sits here today is the St. Louis History Museum. The 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis was the only fair to make a profit. And they built this museum to honor Thomas Jefferson. It was built in 1913. The theme of the fair was to celebrate the centennial of the Louisiana Purchase. And over here at the entrance is where that pike, that one mile pike sit, which was very popular and distracting to Washington University students. You would enter the fair here and then you would go down to a plaza that was on a basin. So that's where we're gonna go, to the basin. The basin was the central part of the fair and it had a plaza. And what they had done was set up palaces. They had palace of machinery, palace of electricity, palace of agriculture, palace of art. All these palaces, there were over 1,500 buildings. There is another way we can go in. Let's try it. So anyway, the path to the bottom of the Grand Basin seems to be closed to vehicles and it's a little bit of a walk. But if you follow this canal, it would take you to the Grand Basin. And if you see up here, that's where the big dome building sat. And that's up where the art museum is today. Over here is where you would find the big Ferris wheel. And about where I'm standing is where the Palace of Agriculture was. Up here, they had a 47 acre human type zoo. Back in 1904, the United States had taken the Philippines as a territory. They brought 1,100 Filipinos over here from several different tribes to set up a village on these 47 acres so they could be observed by fairgoers. There were 12 deaths, most of them by disease, smallpox and pneumonia, one by suicide. On the wheel, there were two deaths. There was also a death at the Palace of Agriculture. And again, this is about where that palace sat. Now where we're going up here is where the Palace of Fine Arts was. And also where the big domed palace was. It overlooked the big plaza. Up this way, again, was where the Philippine village was. There was also a war reenactment. I'm not sure where that was, but that was like 13 acres. And there was a lady who was killed there too. Her horse got scared and knocked the carriage down, I believe a 20 foot embankment. And she died in a tent here on the property. There is the Palace of Art. I'm getting EMF radios. I don't think it's from Ghost though. Batteries. Oh, from batteries, the parallel said. Probably. And there's that statue of St. Louis. Now when St. Louis was founded by French settlers as a fur trading center on the Mississippi River. King Louis IX of France was a popular historical figure. In fact, he was made a saint by the Catholic Church because of his reforms. However, he's controversial because he persecuted the Jews. So, not all historical figures 
are still beloved. Prayer, the palace with the big dome set. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And the staircase came up this hill here, which is now known as Art Hill. Sledders come here in winter time. Other palaces were built all around here. And the Grand Basin is the only thing that remains. Over there was the wheel. And then the Palace of Agriculture. The Philippine settlement. And King Louis here, he used to sit at the entrance of the fair greeting visitors. He was up there by the History Museum at the entrance of the fair. Now the Palace of Art. It was built to be permanent and gifted to the city after the fair. The other buildings had wood and steel frames but then they had a mixture of plaster and hemp with where they could mold the outside decorative parts put over them. So they were temporary buildings. Let's see if we can contact anybody. I, I don't know of any haunted stories, which is amazing to me. I, I don't know. It, it, how it could not be haunted somewhere, at least residually especially with 20 or more deaths occurring at the fair. Well, I took a battery away from this and it's telling me it's zero EMF. Is there anybody here? If you touch this orange machine, that won't hurt you. It's me moving papers. It'll tell me that you're here. Were you at the World's Fair? In 1904, were you at the Olympics? Oh, I have my perilous going too, and it's been saying some stuff. Beg. Do you want me to beg you to talk to me? Please talk to me. Please show me that you're here. W.H. Green, known as Monsieur Leon. You must have been shocked. You were forming that act three times a day. Are you here? Is there anything you want to say? You died so unexpectedly. Is anyone here from the Philippine village? Twelve people died from that village. A police officer committed suicide from the village. There was smallpox and pneumonia. B1 deficiency called beriberi. Did you get sick? Yes, I bet they have a graveyard over there somewhere. They probably never told anybody about the big observation wheel. Two people died. John Goal, on May 10th of 1904, a huge steel pin fell off the observation wheel. The pin fell 200 feet and instantly killed him. John Reynolds. You also died at the observation wheel. You were oiling an axle. Lost your balance and fell 150 feet. You were just 35 years old. Did you have a family? The zoo wasn't here at the fair. I believe it started in 1910. And one of the reasons it did start was because of this flight cage donated by the Smithsonian. There it is, it's the fourth remaining structure. This is number four on the map. Number one is the entrance by the History Museum. 
Number two is the Grand Basin, which we ended up on the other end by number three, the Palace of Art. And number four was that flight kit. Okay, so nobody's behind me and I'm on my way back. So I thought I'd see if I could get better picture of this flight cage. There it is, it's huge. Now this is known as the World's Fair Pavilion. A lot of people think that it was here when the World's Fair was here, but it wasn't. It was built in 1909 with the proceeds from the fair. Again, St. Louis World's Fair was the first fair to actually make, first World's Fair to actually make a profit. And what they do here is rent it out for entertainment purposes. People have weddings and events there. All right. That's the end of the World's Fair tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you could use your imagination to envision what it looked like back in 1904.